Hello, this is Chuck Underhand with Exploding Sprayer Myths with this breaking news exclusive. All over Saskatoon, people awoke this morning to discover small plastic and ceramic devices scattered throughout the city. Be advised, these are truly disturbing images. No one knows what these are, where they came from, or why they're here. Let's go now to our reporter on the scene, Tip Heavily. Tip, are you there? Yes, I am, Chuck. Tip, we've heard these strange objects might be from outer space. Have you heard anything of this? Well, actually, Chuck, that's a myth. Well, yes, Chuck, it all started yesterday when people woke up to find these things everywhere. I've collected a few to show you. This is very disconcerting. Tip, do we have any idea what they are? Well, Chuck, specialists have suggested that these are things called nozzles. I've seen several of them now, and they seem to come in all different shapes and colors and have multiple orifices, and they all have this strange code stamped on them. Horrible! What does it all mean, Tip? We believe the nozzle code contains information about their spray angle and their flow. This section shows the manufacturer and nozzle type. This is the fan angle, which is usually 80 or more commonly 110 degrees. And then there's the material the nozzle is made of. Finally, there's a number ranging from 01 to 20. Experts suggest that this is the flow in US gallons per minute at 40 PSI. Specialists have created a helpful chart that links the nozzle color to their flow. You can see, for example, a red nozzle is an 04 or 0 0.4 gallon per minute nozzle. This is simply mortifying, Tip. Do all the nozzles work like this? Most do, but not all. There are special ones called deers that have additional special codes on them that no one can seem to be able to decipher. And then there's some that have no codes on them at all. That might be a conspiracy. Tip, can I stop you there? I was just handed a new table that classifies nozzles by the droplet sizes they produce. Apparently, each nozzle produces a range of droplet sizes measured in microns. Nozzles can be classified from extremely fine to ultra coarse, depending on the operating pressure. That fits with what we're being told. Uh, experts are saying that there are such things as manufacturer's flow charts that have information on the flow rate and pressure and droplet size that each nozzle produces. We've been advised to look these up to find out what kind of nozzle to use. In this example, we cross-reference a yellow nozzle at 40 psi and a 12 mile per hour travel speed. On a 20-inch spacing, these nozzles would produce 5 gallons per acre and a coarse spray quality. Tip, let's see if I can sum this up. Most nozzles have a code that indicates their spray angle and their flow in US gallons per minute at 40 psi. The nozzle color indicates the flow and a manufacturer's nozzle table allows a user to match flow to spray angle to droplet size. Does that about sum it up? Yes, that seems right. Well, that's all the time we have. We'll continue to monitor the situation in Saskatoon. Tip, on behalf of all of us, thank you for braving that strange and dangerous city to teach us about nozzles and nozzle tables. It's not that dangerous here. I kind of I like it here. Truly, a courageous soul. This is Chuck Underhand, signing off. No, really, it's a nice place. <laughs>